positive reframing. This is often confused with toxic positivity, which asks people to think positively, no matter how difficult a situation is. Positive reframing, on the other hand, allows you to acknowledge the negative aspects. Then asks you to evaluate whether there's another way to think about the situation. Perhaps there are benefits or things you can change about it. Example. You constantly find yourself complaining. I hate being a boss. On top of all these. Deadlines and responsibilities, it's hard to manage so many complex personalities. It's emotionally and mentally exhausting. My job just sucks. Venting might feel good for a second, but it doesn't solve anything. And you'll likely continue to dwell on how much you hate your job or how bad you think you are at managing. To practice positive reframing, replace the thought above with. Things are challenging right now and I'm feeling disconnected from some things on my plate. I wonder if I can change anything about this situation or my expectations about it. This thought pattern gives you the power to change your situation. You could start small by examining what important tasks needs to get done first, then either delay or delegate the rest until you are feeling less anxious. The key is to take a step back and deal with things one at a time. Thank you.